back expats, we made it to Cartagena, the Blue Concept Hotel. Okay, yeah, so we are here at the Blue Concept Hotel. Sorry we didn't get any pictures for it inside the a hotel room, but it was very nice. Um, we only paid like $50 a night, so. Only 50. Yep, yeah, and then that's the pool, so it was just very nice, quaint. They have a bar at the pool, and then also you can order food there as well. Now this is the beach. The beach was pretty good, um, Donna. It was, it, it's like a mini Miami to me. I, uh, we had a great time at the beach. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the beach, um, just because it was city, and then also we had a very nice spot right there on, on the, the beach, beach under yeah. the tent we were like it, was, it cost ten dollars yeah just to have that little tent all there day and was uh, um was it ten dollars or Diaz meal? yeah it was ten dollars plus right. the food we had a fresh fish that was ten dollars that, that thirty thousand pesos is equal to ten dollars um the only thing that's going to really get you there is you have those you have people is going to sell you stuff constantly it did not stop <laughs> like it just would not stop. Yeah, constantly. But uh, as you see, Donna's first time, uh, Salah's first time sitting in the water of the beach. Um, I'm jet skiing, and um, I, I, I talked to Dill. I got that for twenty dollars for thirty minutes. Yeah, that is good. I have I had a pretty good time there. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, you know, the it, it's extremely hot in Cartagena, but under that. First of all, that breeze from the ocean was hitting us, and then we were under the tent, and it just felt so good. Yeah, it I was mean, good. Yeah. We had a fantastic time. Yeah. The thing about Cartagena, again, we're going to stress to you, it is very hot it and is. humid. It is. And you have to be ready for that. You have to be ready for it. We were not ready for it, but we plan on continuing to go so we can build up our endurance for that heat. Yeah. And I was kind of shocked. Yeah, that shocked. we weren't ready for the heat because I feel like I'm real good with you know very heated temperatures. So this is the mall right here. Um, the mall right on the sunset um, is pretty good on the strip. Um, and also check out the sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it was just a beautiful day there. The mall was uh, cool. It wasn't crowded, um, but you know they had. A Four floors, four yeah, four floors. floors. They had a movie theater, a game room, a game place, like a Dave and Buster's. Uh, they had a gym, and you know, if you need to get some fresh gear or something, this is a pretty nice mall. Yeah, if you forgot something or couldn't bring something, um, you can hit up the mall. And um, I, it's not, it's not for locals. You know, I don't think you see too many locals in this mall, but probably the people who live there, in the high rises and exactly, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, little Salah, she always making friends. Yeah, she's sharing her hugs and uh, meeting people that, like, that's the everyday People are very for friendly, us. yeah, that's everyday for us. Cool, so this is us on our way to the Wall City, also known as Historico Centro. And here is a huge, massive area inside of the Wall the City. city yeah. And um, not only Cartagena is for tourism, it's also very historical. And uh, the reason why they built that wall, I think it's back in the 1500s, but it was from pirate invasion from France and, and England. But inside this city, I mean, it's, it's, it's we only, everything. Yeah, it's everything. R uh, little shops you'll yeah. see. Um, restaurants. Restaurants. Bang. Yeah, banks. places to stay. Yeah, we couldn't stay that long because again, it's very hot yeah, and it's we went, very humid. We, we we went during the middle of the day. We probably should have gone after five or six. That's what the yeah the locals told us. Make sure you go yeah. there after five when yeah. the sun goes down. Exactly. We went. I think it was like two or three o'clock in the middle of the day, and it was just crazy hot. Yeah. And um, but but it's a nice area out there. Yeah, it's there. lot to do um, there. Yeah. yeah. I walk around and see the um, different things. And hotels. They have hotels inside the city, the walled city. Mm -hmm. So it's very historical there. A lot of people love to be in that part of um, Cartagena. Cartagena. Yeah. So we're outside the wall right now because we couldn't stay that long. And we're on, on our way back to the hotel. But as you can see, 
you know, it looks pretty good. I yeah, mean, as it, soon as you step out of the wall city, you know, you the cab was waiting on us. He saw us walking, stopped, and was like, come on, I'll take you. You know, so you don't even really have to worry about transportation too much. It's plenty of taxis uh, to be able to take you from point A to point B of where you need to go. Yeah, now, so. the area that we ended up staying was in Boca Grande. Boca Grande, and it was close to the water. That's why we chose that area. Um, but it was uh, there's a few more areas that you can be or um, get to in Cartagena, but we just chose Boca Grande, and we took That's a flight. That's where everything is. We took a flight from um, Medellin to uh, Cartagena. It was a 45 minute flight, which is excellent. And the price was great. The price was twenty three dollars per person each way. So for less than a hundred dollars, we were able to fly for forty five minutes to uh, Cartagena, yeah. and um, the hotel, like we said, was about fifty dollars a night, and it, it was just a great trip. Yeah, overall, it was a great trip. You can see right there; it's a beautiful city, and uh, we will definitely go back. And it's Afro Caribbean, so you know, uh, due to the heat. You know, we will we'll be better prepared to actually go into the authentic Afro um, American uh, Afro Latina um, heritage. Exactly, and so again, we enjoyed our stay in Cartagena. Maybe the next time we'll do like a home away or Airbnb instead of a hotel, and then that way um, we can have a different experience as well, just to um, uh, have a different location to stay. Probably one of those high rise condos. That would be. Yeah, that will be great. So this is Young Black Expats, uh, Cartagena, and uh, we're, we're signing off. So peace. Peace. Chat soon.